name's Tim Schuler. I work for the New Jersey Department of Agriculture. We have an apiary that has uh, some cases of American fowl brood in it. American fowl brood is a very contagious disease that can be spread through contaminated beekeeping equipment. It's early in June. There's still a lot of honey flows left in New Jersey and the bees are strong. So in order to salvage them, today we're going to show you how to shake the bees out onto clean foundation in order to try to salvage them in case of an American fowl brood episode. The first thing I'm going to do is smoke the hive and then I'm going to open it up and move the bees off of this hive stand. Okay, we're going to use the cardboard so that when I shake the bees, they're going to naturally want to walk into this spot where this brand new equipment is with brand new foundation. And the idea is that the bees will metabolize any contaminated honey as they, um, um, as they draw wax out in this colony. The beekeeper will not feed them for about, um, for about four or five days until any spores of American fowl brood get metabolized out of their system. looking for the queen because I don't really want to shake her. I'd like to make sure I place her in the colony if I see her. We're using the cardboard so that any bits of honey or nectar or contaminated parts would fall on the cardboard. A little bit of a time consuming process. Oh. These bees are on a honey flow. You can see some of the, um, the juice coming out when I shake the frames. Take note of the bees running in there now. As a matter of fact, I think I want to put the lid on so they can build up their scent and get in there.
You can see the workers using their knives and off glands to scent so the bees go in. It's a little bit of work, but as you can see, this is a highly populated colony. Here's the queen right here. And she just walked in the hive, so we know she's in.
actually there's virtually no honey in this super, so I'm just going to do it the exact same way as that other one. Well, there is a little bit. Okay, you can see the bees are moving in. We know the queen went in. We're gonna leave this hive sit alone for three or four days. I'm actually gonna put some uh, teramycin on here just so that if there is any um, little bit of uh, bits of honey that got on a bee that they don't store it. We want them to metabolize it as they make wax. Once the bees go in, we're gonna take this cardboard out of the way so that um, we get rid of any residue of beeswax here or of honey. This equipment's going to go get stored inside right now um, and then be disposed of uh, correctly. Some of the honey could be extracted because <coughs> the honey won't affect humans, but the combs need to be gotten rid of and the boxes need to be scorched with a torch and we'll show you that a little later. Hello everybody, this is Tim Schuler with the New Jersey Department of Agriculture. Uh, you saw a little earlier how we uh, shook out a couple colonies that had American fowl brood on the clean foundation at the right time of the year. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to scorch the boxes um, in order to get rid of spores that could be in the wax and propolis. Uh, I get questions often about from people saying they want to pressure wash them and, um, and put bleach on them. Bleach and pressure washing is not going to uh, penetrate beeswax and propolis. So it's important that that stuff has gotten off of there. And um, you can use a little propane torch like this or this is a, a weed torch that I have or, or um, hooked up to a regular propane cylinder. Um, so I, I, I kind of will show you both ways. What we want to do is melt the wax and propolis and get a slight char on the wood. Not a deep penetrating char, but we want it to turn dark because we want that stuff to be burned up so that there's a very little likelihood of any type of a, of a reinfection from the equipment. Okay. Um, so here we go, we're going to get started with this. doing it over a barrel so that I catch the wax I uh, don't leave a big uh, mess in the yard and I'm using a hive tool just to scrape um, so I don't have to burn all this stuff up and wreck the box
I do is I like to hit that rabbit one more time with the smaller torch because the big torch will um, will put too much char on on the frame rest. So this can more can direct it a little better right into the groove. idea when all is said and done to um, repaint the box, paint the top and bottom um, rail as well as the frame rest. That's really what we want her to look like when it's uh, when it's done. You get a little bit of char, but not too much char. We want to make sure that we burn the propolis and wax off, um, and then the chances of being successful are, are pretty good. If you don't get the wax and propolis off and out of the frame rest, uh, your chances of being successful is pretty slim. got good char um, and that should be good once again when uh, when the whole thing is done um, before these boxes are put back into service they're going to be painted all around the outside as well as the bottom rim and the top rim and the rabbit just run a bead of paint right down there help seal everything in okay Some people have metal rabbits in their deeps, and those rabbits need to really be pulled out, uh, or they might have them in their shallows. They need to be pulled out so that all the propolis and wax can get cooked out from underneath them. Um, so that's something, uh, this equipment doesn't have metal rabbits in it, uh, so it's not really that big of an issue, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, you want to get all the propolis and beeswax cooked out of, the, out of the inside of the box where the bees have access to it. Alright, this is Tim Schuler. We're back at the bee yard where we shook three hives that had American fowl brood out uh, about two weeks ago or a week and a half ago onto clean foundation. Um, what we're doing today is just checking to see how the bees are doing. There were, they've, they've been given no feed um, and I just want to check this one. You can see we got some good flight here. We also have a storm coming. Um, this hive looks like they've drawn all of the combs out. I'm going to check them for queen right. Wow. 
very nice frame. This is an outside frame. And there are eggs all over the place. They are starting to cap some brood. And the cappings look, look good. And our hope is that they metabolized any spores that they might have on their body. Here's another nice frame of cat brood. Lots of open larvae all look healthy. Pollen. The bees must have been on a nice honey flow here. So we're going to hit them with a little teramycin just as a precaution. And this next colony right here is not queen right. The bees there only drew a few frames. So I'm going to add that box to this one because this colony needs room. This, this hive's in good shape, it's queen right. It too needs another box. I'm gonna to have to let this beekeeper know that. And I'm gonna hit him again with another dose of teramycin. <clears throat> 